Today we have 15 EAFC 25 cards that EA got completely wrong. And starting off is the greatest player to ever play the game, Lionel Messi, who might have led Argentina to win the Copas, but EA still did him dirty by giving him a minus two overall downgrade, which is his lowest rating in FIFA history at an 88 overall, but is still two higher than Cristiano Ronaldo. But that's only the first player, and each player is going to get even crazier until we get to the final three, which are the worst ratings in FIFA history. But now moving on to number four, 14 is one of the nicest players ever, N'Golo Kante, who based on his stats got the exact same card as last year with plus one physical, but for some reason EA still gave him a minus one downgrade making him an 85 overall. But I guess it's still not as bad as other gold players like Casemiro, who got absolutely shit on with a minus 25 pace downgrade. And next at the 13th player EA got completely wrong is one of the best passers of our generation, Kevin De Bruyne, who despite being the only Manchester City downgrade, this is his first time not being a 91 rated card since FIFA 19. Meaning according to EA, coming off injury and still being one of the best center mids in the world, all while winning the Premier League, still results in a minus one downgrade. But if Kevin De Bruyne pisses you off, just wait until you see the next two downgrades. Because at number 12 is the biggest YouTuber on this list and one of the greatest players of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo, who scored 44 goals last year and was the leading goal scorer in the Camel League. But I guess avoiding the Saudi curse was not enough to give Ronaldo an upgrade because he is the exact same overall that he was in FC 24 and 86. And moving on to the final downgrade is someone that wasn't downgraded but removed from the game entirely, Paul Pogba, who went from being one of the most expensive footballers in the world to a zero overall in FC 25. But he claims that he's not giving up since his ban expires in August of 2027, so we could see him in FC 28. But those are only the biggest downgrades and now we're moving on to something even better because the next five players are even crazier with the biggest upgrades in FC 25 because at number 10 is a man with the best PR team in the world, Jude Bellingham, who is not only getting a plus four overall upgrade, but he's one of only seven players to get a 90 overall. But that doesn't make sense at all because after the season he had, as well as losing the Euros, he should only be an 88 overall alongside players like Messi and Valverde. And next to the ninth player EA got completely wrong, Joker Ace, who did enough to deserve his plus nine overall upgrade, but the reason EA EA got this card wrong is because he has 91 physical, which makes him the strongest player in FC 25, even stronger than both Virgil van Dijk and Holland. But if you thought Gyokeres had a crazy card, just wait until you see the potential on this next one. Because number 8 is the youngest player in FC 25, Lamine Yamal, whose first ever FIFA card is going to be one of the best evolutions in FC 25 as an 81 overall. But that's still nothing compared to what his ones to watch or future stars card is going to be, which is going to be significantly higher than someone whose favorite player is Bobby Charlton. And next, the seventh player that EA got completely wrong is someone that carried Spain during the Euros, Nico Williams, who got an insane plus four overall upgrade to be an 85 overall, making him one of the best starting players in FC 25 alongside Musiala and Phil Foden. But moving on to number six is someone that might not be able to read and always has his mouth open, Cole Palmer, who had the biggest upgrade on the list going from a 66 overall silver to an 85 overall rare Goal. but he's still going to be one of the worst cards in FC 25 and is not going to be usable because he only has 75 pace. But those are only the biggest downgrades and upgrades because we still have five players left that EA got completely wrong. And the final three are the biggest mistakes EA has ever made because at number five is a goalkeeper that everyone forgot about, David De Gea, who went a whole season without playing a single minute or receiving a phone call, but somehow only received a minus three overall downgrade from his FIFA 23 rating making him higher rated than two Premier League goalkeepers, David Raya and Onana. But moving on to the fourth player is someone that EA completely screwed over, Eden Hazard, who despite being one of the best wingers of a generation, EA refused to give him an icon card and only gave him an 86 overall origin hero, the exact same as Sami Al Haber. But if you think Eden Hazard was a mistake, we're moving on to the final three players, which are the biggest mistakes EA has ever made. Because at number three is someone that should have been a guaranteed icon as well, and Anthony, who despite being the best player in the entire world, EA only gave him a 77 overall common goal, meaning he is going to get revenge and have one of the best seasons ever this year. But moving on to the second player EA got completely wrong is someone who scored one of the best Champions League goals of all time, Gareth Bale, who despite having an amazing career with Tottenham and Real Madrid, was given an 88 overall amongst players like Michael Laudrup, Raquel May, and Fernando Iedo. And finally at number one is a player that EA got completely wrong 
Song, Neymar. And after not playing a single minute last season, he's still an 87 overall, one higher than Cristiano Ronaldo. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out 15 new players coming to FC25.